Last week, we welcomed Chicago Alderman George Cardenas onto the program to discuss whether Chicago really ought to be a sanctuary city when it has, to put it mildly, a few other issues. We had a spirited exchange. Do you think that you have an obligation to represent American citizens first above people who are here illegally? I represent my citizens very well, thank you, Tucker. Everyone that comes through that door. <laughs> okay, so you, you didn't, you, you, were, you were only dancing. Loves the service. So let's, let's try a second but, one. Well, so they have to be blue-eyed and, and, and blonde to you be able to say, okay, you're I'm American. Here. What a loathsome little demagogue you are to say something like no, that. I'm, I'm saying, asking I mean, you how about, do you no, no, what, what a how loathsome you little demagogue you how are. Do you so I lost my temper, but he pushed me. Nicholas Pizzato is an, also an alderman in the city of Chicago. He is not for the city's efforts to protect, to protect illegal immigrants from American law, and he joins us tonight. Thank you a lot, uh, very much for coming on uh, tonight. So I, I didn't mean to get into such a bitter debate with your colleague, but I was asking a pretty simple question, which is how does it help the citizens, the American citizens in Chicago, to do this? And he called me a bigot in response. So let me just ask you the same question. Does it help Chicagoans, these immigration policies? Well, of course not, Tucker. It, it, it doesn't help one bit, so. So then what's the point of it? Because I thought the point of representing a constituency to holding elective office was to look out for the people who voted for you, the citizens, the voters. Well, well, that's, that's the way I feel. I mean, we represent the people that live in our community, live in our city, and the people that are here, you know, I believe, you know, you have to be here legally, um, and, I, and I, I certainly don't believe in sanctuary city, so. It just, and I love Chicago and everyone who visits it does great people, great food, beautiful city. But, you know, like all cities, it has some actual problems, financial problems, crime problems. It does, you can't convince me that all the political energy spent on catering to people who shouldn't be here, that's got to detract from, like, making the city better for everyone else. Well, I, I, you know, right. I mean, I wish we, we, we have a, a serious mental health issue in the city. We have a serious crime problem. And, um, you know, I wish we would be concentrating on, on those type of things as opposed to uh, uh, illegals in our, in our city. So why, your, your mayor's all in, a bunch of aldermen are all in. Why is that? What, what's the motive? I, I, I couldn't explain what their motive is. I mean, basically, it's the mayor and 48 aldermen uh, support Sanctuary City. There's basically two of us that do not support Sanctuary City. But meanwhile, the mayor and all those aldermen have let the south side of your city become, like, uninhabitable, and people get killed every day. What are the people who live on the south side of your city in poverty amidst all that violence? What do they think about this? I bet they don't like it. Well... Well, you'd have to ask. You'd have to get one one of my colleagues from the south side on, or the west side, uh, one day, Tucker. But you know, I'm not sure how they feel about it. I know it really bothers me, um, and I, I think our money could be a little bit better spent. And um, you know, if we if we stick with our sanctuary city policies, um, you know, we could be losing a billion dollars of federal funds. So I'm very concerned about that. And you can't afford it, Mr. Albin. Thank, thanks, yeah. thanks a lot for coming on. And thanks for what you do for your great city. Thanks, Tucker.